Hey sunshine, welcome back to Dark Sunlight, where we plan, create, and live with love. If that sounds like something that might appeal to you, feel free to subscribe. I put out a new video every Thursday. For the past two weeks, I've been trying to build myself a new skin routine from basically nothing. So in this video, I wanted to show you sort of how I did that, the process that I went through, and how it actually worked out for me. To give you a little bit of history, I don't know a whole lot about skincare. I've used a couple different brands throughout the years. I've also tried making my own products, but nothing really stuck, nothing really made me happy or made my skin amazing. And also a lot of it's really expensive. And so that's just not sustainable in the long run. Over the past year, what I did is I kind of rebelled against the whole thing. I got mildly frustrated with the fact that my partner just uses cheap body wash on his face and always has near perfect skin. It's really just quite unfair. So I thought to myself, you know, why am I spending all this money on products when it's probably not even worth it? So for the past year, actually what I've been doing is just using a homemade soap on my face and a Lush moisturizer. That's, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I would remember to remove my makeup before bed. <laughs> so I really haven't been very kind to my skin. So what I learned by doing this is that my skin probably needs a little bit more care than that. I was treating it like it was oily skin because I've always had oily skin, but this plain soap I was using was rather drying. And then the moisturizer I was using is also meant for oily skin. And what happened is that I think my skin has now become completely dehydrated. Very sad because now I have dry peeling spots, but it's also still oily and I still get acne. So just, my skin's a mess. So what I decided to do is over the last couple months, I've sort of been asking my friends and family like what they use, what do they recommend? And I got a lot of recommendations to try a brand called The Ordinary. By the way, this video is completely unsponsored, ungifted. I decided to buy all these products with my own money and try them out and see how it goes. So this is just my, my opinion. So yeah, what I did is I, I went on The Ordinary website and I checked out some of their products and I immediately got completely overwhelmed because I didn't know what to choose. Luckily, what they have on their website is a contact form where you can send in your skin history, your concerns and pictures of your skin. And then they can email you back and send you sort of a ready-made regimen and product suggestions. So I did that and I got a response back with a list of products and exactly when to use them in the day, which was very helpful because I didn't know what I was doing. And so what I did is I, I picked a few of the products. Obviously I wasn't going to go buy everything right away. Oh, uh, the other thing is The Ordinary is completely cruelty free and the majority of the products are also vegan and the ones that I've picked up are vegan. So um, that's another good point for them if that's something that you're worried about. So I picked up a few of the products that they suggested and I decided to work those into my routine. Some of them that are targeted more towards acne prone skin seemed like maybe they were a bit too harsh because there were warnings on them not to use them on uh, compromised or sensitive skin. And right now my skin is rather sensitive. So I didn't get those products. What I did is I focused on getting the products that were more moisturizing to see if I can heal my skin before I start sort of attacking the, the acne problem. So I'll show you what I picked up. The first product I got is actually not from The Ordinary, it's the Spore brand. It says triple action cleansing water, micellar water, and uh, that's just to remove my makeup and cleanse my face. And I was hoping that this would be a more gentle and less drying way of getting my makeup off my face and cleaning it. The next product I picked up was this moisturizer from The Ordinary. It's the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, a surface hydration formula. So. I mean, essentially it's moisturizer. The next thing I got was this hyaluronic acid. It's hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5, hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. I mean, that makes sense. Hyaluronic acid has hyaluronic acid in it. It's also moisturizing, but it's more of a serum. The next thing I picked up was rose hip seed oil. This is 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, daily support formula for all skin types. It's also very moisturizing. The last product I picked up is this toner and it has the potential to be a little bit more harsh, but I figured it would be the last product that I work into the routine. So hopefully by that point, my skin would be a little bit more healed. So this one is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. They do recommend doing test patches on your skin of the products before adding them into your routine. So I did do that before I tried anything. And then they also recommend that you work one product in at a time. So I also did that and I sort of made sure I chose 
the things that I thought were least likely to damage my skin in any way and then work up to that toning solution that I said might be like a little bit more harsh. So overall, that was my plan. And now we can jump back to past Katie and see how it actually went. Hi, okay. So consider this my first sort of day one update of my skin. So this is before I've started using any of my new products. So we're gonna get real up close and personal here and I have no makeup on or anything. So you get to see the real deal, uh, what we're working with here. So. I do tend to get some acne usually in and around sort of my chin, sometimes down onto my neck, which is really obnoxious. Uh, the rest of my skin really isn't too bad. It's having a good skin day apparently, so it really doesn't look as bad as it normally would. But anyways, I do sometimes also get acne on my forehead just a little bit. I assume that's because I have bangs. It's a sad reality. But yeah, so this is, this is what we've got and uh, I'll be updating along the way as I add new products into the routine and we'll see how it goes. Hello, welcome to my bathroom. What I'm going to be doing this morning is super simple. I'm going to cleanse my face with some micellar water and a cotton pad, which by the way, I still use disposable cotton pads. I would very much like to find a reusable one, but all of the ones that I've found are giant sized. And I just find that so obnoxious. Like I really want this size but a reusable one. So if you have any links or tips, or let me know in the comments what you use because I would like to not be throwing these in the garbage all the time, but I just can't find a good replacement. So I'm going to start by cleaning my face with the micellar water. Uh, that's also a new product, but I'm really not worried about it. So I'll be introducing this at the same time as the moisturizer I'll be using. See, this is wild. You know, you think your face is clean and then it's bananas, right? Okay, so now that my face is clean, I'm going to apply this moisturizer, which is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. I decided to go with this one first because my routine already includes putting moisturizer on my face. So I figure this is the sort of least, I don't know, least interesting. All moisturized. Good morning. So this is day four, I think, of my new skincare routine. What I've done so far is right off the bat, I started using the micellar water and the natural moisturizer plus HA from The Ordinary. Loving those products already. I used just those two things for the first couple of days. And then over um, the last day or two, I started adding in the pure hyaluronic acid as an actual moisturizing element at night. And um, I'm loving it. I mean, seeing as before my whole skin routine was sometimes I'd remember to moisturize, I figured doing anything at this point is going to be an improvement, but I don't know if you can tell, my skin is feeling so much better. It's really, it's it's so much more moisturized. Um, a lot of the peeling has gone away. I, some of my acne is starting to heal up as well, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, so far loving, loving this routine. And the next product to add in will be the, uh, rose hip seed oil, I think as well to the night routine. So that's it for now. And we're back. So it has been about a week now of me using the new products. I have worked in rosehip seed oil as well. So that is now part of my night skin routine. It's really, really lush. I really like it. And I don't know if you can tell. So I, I do, I'm still, I'm still getting zits. So it's just always going to be a thing. So I, I have this and a spot on my nose as well, but that's okay because the texture of my skin is so improved. It's actually so soft and I love it. I oh, I just feel so moisturized and it's lovely. Now that my skin seems to actually be healing, the last product I'm going to add in is the toner. And um, that's all that I've bought for now. And it seems to be really working and I'm very happy. 
I do need to take a second here to recognize my newest patron, Tammy. Welcome to the team, Tammy. Your support means the world to me and I hope you love the bonus content and printables. If you'd like to see your name in the credits of every video, come join the team over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. So it has officially been two weeks since I started my new routine and this is where we're at with the skin. Today I do have a tinted moisturizer on, so there's a little bit of coverage there, but not a lot. Really it's about the texture of my skin and how that has changed. I of course still have some spots here and there. I, I think that I, I might always have those, who knows? It, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Everybody's human, everybody gets spots, nothing to stress about. Really my skin just feels so much more healthy and I found it so beneficial to just have this routine to just spend a little bit more time caring for the container for myself, you know, my, my soul or however you look at that. Um, it has just felt really good to do that. I did also end up making a spread in my bullet journal to be able to track what products I'm using at what time of day. I just thought it was simpler to remember this way so I could reference it. It's because it's not quite a routine yet or it's not quite a habit yet, I needed the reminders now and then. And I also ended up changing the routine a little bit from what the representative from The Ordinary had actually recommended for me. One thing they had recommended was to, was at night to use, after cleansing your face, the hyaluronic acid and then the rosehip seed oil on top of it. But what I found is that the HA would sort of bead up on my skin and become grainy when I would apply the oil on top. And I did try letting it soak in a little bit more, but it really didn't seem to make much of a difference. And it was just kind of bothering me. I felt like maybe it wasn't working quite right. So now I'm using the HA only in the morning and I'm using the rosehip seed oil at night as the moisturizer. On the other page of this spread, I also added the quote, beauty is being comfortable in your own skin. And I think this really rings true for me. You're not always going to look in the mirror and love every detail that you see. But if you are kind to yourself in your own head and you build that self-love and that self-confidence, that will really shine through more than any, more than any flaw that could possibly be there. I'm sure you're perfect anyways, but that confidence and that self-love, that's your makeup, you know? Anyways, after that bit of cheesy goodness, let's bring it to the outro. So final thoughts on this are that I had a lot of fun figuring out what products would work for me and experimenting a little bit on my skin. And I mean, obviously it wasn't a massive magical transformation, but the texture of my skin is a lot better. I'm feeling better about having a nice routine in place just for sort of the joy of it. And uh, I mean, it's only been two weeks, so we'll see where it goes from here. Once I run out of one of my products, I may add in some of those extra products that were more for the acne fighting, that were a little bit more harsh, but maybe my skin will be able to take it at that point since we've done that healing work in the first place. I really don't think skincare should be too complicated or definitely not too expensive. I think it's just about caring for your unique skin in the best way that you can. You know, drink water, eat well, all that stuff super helps way more than any of these surface products we can put on our skin. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.